Russell man is now facing charges for his role in the multi-vehicle crash that left the semi dangling from the Second Street Bridge earlier this month. 33-year-old Trevor Branham is being charged with four counts of wanton endangerment and driving with a suspended license. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer looked into these charges and joins us with new details. John Myra, the arrest report says these charges were filed against Trevor Branham Friday and confirmed some of the details that witnesses have shared with us, but also shows that he was driving with a suspended license, something that has become somewhat of a trend for Branham. There's a semi hanging over the edge of the bridge, with cab hanging over the water. Grabbed on it, would get out of the cabin. This scene on March 1st captivated the whole country for 45 minutes as we awaited the rescue of the Cisco semi truck driver. Fast forward to Monday, and we are learning more about the man who played a role in this accident. A police report says that 33 year old Trevor Branham was driving his vehicle recklessly with no regard for human life putting himself and other drivers in serious risk of injuries or death. A driver on the bridge at the time of the accident details Branham's behavior. And he passes the Mustang that was in front of us, and by the time he passes him, the traffic was stopped in front of us. And he smashed right into them people, and I was like, I, was, I see all that, but then his car, his truck went head on into the semi. The police report mirrored Gawler's words, saying Branham was weaving in and out of traffic well over the speed limit. He then hit a stalled car in the right lane, lost control, and then hit the Cisco semi-truck, causing it to go over the bridge. A scary situation that Gawler tried to pacify by talking to the driver. Constantly asking, you know, how much longer, how much of my trailer is holding and is hanging off of the bridge. And, didn't really want to tell her, but I told her the truth. I mean, she was, <laughs> I was like, it's about, it's over halfway. You're hanging over half, your trailer's hanging halfway off. I said, do you have a full load on? She's like, yes. And I was just trying to tell her to be calm. Everybody, you know, everybody's on their way. The report shows that Brandon was driving with a suspended license due to a speeding ticket he didn't pay from April 2021 out of Indiana. Court records show that he paid both violations on March 4th of this year, just days after the crash on the bridge. Branham was also cited for driving with the suspended license in 2010. Branham appeared in court Friday and is out on a $20,000 bond. He's set to be back in court on May 15th at 9 a.m. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.